Hello everyone, this is Chase Crispin, and today we are once again looking at the Orion TI-84 Plus Talking Graphing Calculator. Today, we are looking at how to customize speech options within the TI-84 so that you can adjust the speech to your preferred setting that is easiest for you to listen to. To turn on the Orion TI-84 Plus Talking Graphing Calculator, I'm going to push the button that is the bottom most left button on the calculator. When I press this, the calculator will turn on. We hear the power on chime, feel the power on vibration, and we hear that we are currently on the home screen. Now that the calculator is turned on, we are going to be looking at adjusting several of the options on the Orion TI-84. First, we're going to look at adjusting volume, which we did mention in the Getting Started video, but we'll go over this again. On the Orion unit, which is located past the screen, farthest away from you, you have on the left edge of, or left side of the face of the Orion unit, six keys that are arranged like a braille cell. The keys in the dot two and dot five position will adjust the volume. So if I press the key in the dot two position, volume seven. We turn down the volume. The key in the dot five position volume seven, volume eight. will turn the volume back up. If you hold down the bottom left key, which is in the dot three position, and you press the key that we just used in the dot two position to turn down the volume, speed five. we have speed five, speed four, four speed three. three. So we are slowing down the rate of the speech. If we continue to hold down the key in the dot three position, and then press the dot five key. Speed four. Speed five. We are increasing the speech rate and you can make this quite a bit slower than what it is now and quite a bit faster. So adjusting the speech rate can be done easily from anywhere by holding down the bottom left key in combination with the keys in the dot two or dot five positions. A lot of the options that you will want to change on the Orion TI-84 Plus are located in the preferences menu of the Orion unit. The top right key within the six keys of the Orion unit, or braille.4 if you're thinking of these keys in a braille cell, will open the preferences menu. If I press this key, preferences menu. Graph options. we have a few options here, and the first option is graph options. We're not going to be looking at this today because we will look at this when we look at graphing. We'll talk about how these options affect the graph. So we're going to press the down arrow key this is to the right of the keys in the braille cell configuration on the Orion unit. So I'm going to press down arrow. Speech options. And we have speech options. So let's press select or the key in the middle of the arrow keys on the Orion unit. Voice. The first option is a voice. If you don't like the voice that is on the Orion unit by default, we have several other voices included. So again, if we press the key in the middle of the arrows, we will be able to change the voice of the Orion. The default is Paul's voice, and it tells us that that is Paul's voice default, and that is what is currently selected. We have Harry's voice, Frank's voice, and there are several other options in here. I would like to set this to Frank's voice, so I will press the key in the middle of the arrows on the Orion unit. We hear that Frank's voice is selected. This is spoken in the new voice. And then you hear it say voice, meaning we were kicked out of the list of voices and put back to the speech settings menu. So we hear voice and we can now down arrow to get past the voice option. We're no longer in the list of voices. We're back to the voice settings menu. Pitch. We could press the key in the middle of the arrows here to change the pitch of the voice if you wish to do that. I'll press that key in the middle of the arrows. Pitch. It's set to three by default Selected. with the Frank voice. If I press down arrow, pitch four, four pitch five, five six, six, etc. I'm going to go back to three. Pitch, pitch three. And four. since I'm not changing the option here, I don't need to press the key in the middle of the arrows. I can just back out of this menu, which will not save anything with the left arrow. Pitch. So if you hear that message, you should press the bottom left key on the calculator, the key we use to turn the calculator on. If you don't press any keys on the calculator itself within a few minutes, it will try to enter automatic power down or APD mode. 
So if you are just using the Orion unit, not the calculator itself, once you hear the 30 seconds until APD message, just tap the power button and you will prevent it from going to sleep. Since we pressed a key on the calculator, we need to get back into the preferences menu. Pressing anything on the calculator will get us out of the preferences menu, so we're going to press the dot four position key on the Orion unit to get into the preferences menu. Preferences menu. We're going to down arrow speech to speech options. Press the key in the middle of the arrows. Voice. We've looked at voice, so we'll down arrow. Pitch. We've looked at pitch, so we'll down arrow. Menu item number announcement. This we are not going to go into because we just have options of on and off. But what this would allow us to do is have any menus that we enter, for example, the math menu where you have options like cube, cube root, etc. The calculator would say, one, show as fraction, two, show as decimal, rather than just reading the options. Then you could type in the number of the menu item you wish to use on the calculator's keypad. So if you wish to know what number items in menus have, so that you could type that in on the calculator and get to that item quicker than you could if you just down arrowed, you could turn this option on, it is off by default. You just use up and down arrows to pick yes and no, use the key in the middle of the arrows to select your option. So we're not going to look at this. So if we down arrow again, Reset speech settings. if you had changed something in your speech settings that you didn't like, you could press the key in the middle of the arrows here to reset them back to the defaults. And if we down arrow again, voice. we hear a double beep and we hear voice, meaning we're back on the original option we reached when entering this menu, which is the voice. To get back to the main preferences menu and close the speech options menu, we're going to press left arrow. Speech options. We'll now down arrow. Orion help. We have an option here that says Orion help. And if we press the key in the middle of the arrows to enter the Orion help menu, battery status. we could check our battery status just by pressing the key in the middle of the arrows. Orion battery capacity is 50%. So I have 50% of my Orion battery capacity remaining. I'll left arrow. Battery and remember, that is the rechargeable battery in the Orion unit that you heard about. That is not the AAA batteries in the TI-84 itself. When the batteries in the TI-84 need replaced, you will hear a low battery message and you have a couple of hours of use before you have to change the batteries. So this percentage is only for the rechargeable battery that powers the talking Orion portion. If we down arrow again, we could press select here to hear the current firmware version. Serial number. Down arrow again, we could press select here to find the serial number of our device if technical support were to need that. If we down arrow again. Quiet mode. Quiet mode, if you went into this option to enable it, your calculator would not make noise or vibrate when it turns on. So if you're in a class where you don't want your calculator to vibrate when it turns on and off, you can go into silent mode and turn that option on, so when you press the power button, your calculator will be ready to use, but it will not tell you home screen, it will not vibrate, and it will not play its musical chimes when it turns on. If we down arrow again, battery status. we're back to battery status, so those are the options in the Orion help menu. Orion help. If we down arrow again, reset all. we have a reset all option. So this, much like the reset option in the speech settings, would reset all of the options of the Orion unit back to their factory defaults. And if we down arrow one more time, exit. we could exit the preferences menu by pressing the select key. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? I'll press the key in the middle of the arrows on yes. Exit preferences menu. You might want to take note that as software upgrades are made available for the Orion portion of the TI-84+, Plus, the order and placement of the menu items may change. So if there has been a software upgrade to the device and you have upgraded, your menu items may be slightly different in a different order or are described in different ways than my menu items were in this tutorial. And if you wish to know if there are updates available for the Orion TI-84+, Plus, you can visit tech.aph.org and click on the Orion TI-84 Plus link. Thank you for watching this video and we hope you have found it helpful.